Now, from toilets to Tinseltown, one plumber whose love of singing was reignited during lockdown gets his big break. Lisa Dowd has the story. The sound is unashamedly 80s. Love is fleeting, has no meaning. Love is but comes from a guy who'd given up on music. Darkness creeping, can't find meaning. What's repeating in my mind? Kev is just about to jack in the world of plumbing to go on tour. I was singing in the bathroom. The next door neighbour heard me singing away and said to Paul, who owns New Reality Records, um, who's that guy singing in your bathroom? He says, the plumber. So we get chatting, told me he's got a record label, told him, well, actually, I've just, <laughs> I've just um, built a recording studio in my loft and reignited a, an album I started 25 years ago. It was lockdown at home in Leicestershire that gave Kev the time to rediscover his passion, having been in a band decades ago. The sound is shell suit perfect 80s, if you like. It, it, you, and I thought, ooh, nobody's really making anything quite like this. And he'd done it all himself. I was just amazed by it. And there was, the thing was, that story of him in lockdown, um, trying to build back his dream that he'd had 20 years ago. Um, it just struck me as we've got, we've got to try and put this out. And then it really kicks in there. What came next shocked really both of them. Hollywood filmmakers heard about their story and Kev flew to LA for meetings with director Billy Ray. What I loved about the story was it was about these two men, uh, Kevin and Paul, for whom music had been everything. Um, and then they lost that thread for about, you know, 20 years of their life. And then they found that thread again and saved one another, um, even though neither of them knew they needed to be saved. Uh, I just thought that was beautiful. You can rip out my heart and do it again. He does have one more bathroom to fit in January, but Kev's new life on the road starts in the spring. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Leicestershire.